Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Today, we have an important topic to discuss regarding recent developments involving the Ministry of Law, Minute Law, and the Protection from Online Fossids and Manipulation Act POFMA in Singapore. Before we dive into the details, I kindly request you to stay engaged throughout the video, leave your valuable comments, and support our channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Your support means a lot to us, as we strive to bring you the latest news and insights. Now, let's delve into the matter at hand. The Ministry of Law has issued POFMA correction directions to Mr. Kenneth J. Retnam, Secretary General of the Reform Party, Mr. Tamil Selvon, and online publication JOM. This action was taken in response to articles and social media posts that alleged irregularities regarding the rental of two black and white bungalows on Ridout Road by Home Affairs and Law Minister K. Shunmugam and Foreign Affairs Minister Vivian Bolakrishnan. It all began when it was revealed that the two ministers were renting these iconic properties, which are managed by the Singapore Land Authority, SLA. Mr. Jayaretnam raised questions about the rental arrangement, suggesting that the ministers might be enjoying rents below the fair market value, given that the SLA is overseen by the Minister for Law. However, thorough investigations conducted by the Corruption Practices Investigation Bureau and Senior Minister T.E.O. Chihin found no evidence of any criminal wrongdoing or preferential treatment given to the ministers. These investigations aim to ensure transparency and uphold the integrity of the government's actions. In response to the allegations made by Mr. Jayaretnam and Mr. Selvon, Second Minister for Law Edwin Tong instructed for POFMA correction directions to be issued. This means that both men are now required to carry a correction notice on their respective social media platforms, clarifying that their previous posts contained false statements. Furthermore, JOM, an online publication, has also been served correction directions over an article it published on 7 July. The article alleged that Senior Minister T.E.O. did not satisfactorily respond to questions on potential conflicts of interest and possible breaches of the Ministerial Code of Conduct. Additionally, JOM claimed that the SLA had spent over 1 million Singapore dollars renovating both bungalows because the ministers were tenants. These claims have been deemed inaccurate and false by the Ministry of Law and the Ministry of Communications and Information, MCI. The ministries have criticized JOM for omitting key details from Senior Minister TEO's statements in Parliament on 3 July. They clarified that Senior Minister TEO emphasized the importance of adhering to both the spirit and the letter of the Code of Conduct for Ministers. It is important to note that Minister Shunmugam had fully recused himself from all matters relating to the rental of the bungalow at 26 Ridout Road, effectively eliminating any potential or actual conflict of interest. Addressing Jom's claims about the cost of the renovations, the ministries stressed that the tenants' identities had no bearing on the expenditure. The renovations were carried out in accordance with the Singapore Land Authority standard practices and were deemed necessary due to the condition of the properties and the requirements for their conservation. Moreover, it has been clarified by the government that there were no requests made to Meta, the parent company of Instagram, to geoblock Charles Yeo's post. Meta has stated that access to the content was restricted in Singapore due to local law after conducting legal and human rights assessments. In accordance with the POFMA correction directions, JOM is now required to publish correction notices on its website and social media pages to address and correct the inaccuracies presented in its original article. So, there you have it, a detailed overview of the recent developments involving the Ministry of Law and the POFMA correction directions issued to Mr. Kenneth J. Retnam, Mr. Tamil Selvon, and John. It is important to separate fact from fiction and promote responsible dissemination of information. We encourage you to leave your thoughts and comments on this matter. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, 
and subscribe to our channel for more updates on significant events around the world. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to your continued engagement.